it's chemistry and you are watching Cram Science. As we know that 0620 IGCSE chemistry have been changed for the 2023-25 syllabus specifications. So in this video we will see that what are the main changes to the syllabus made or what additions are made to the syllabus. What are the topics removed from the syllabus and what are the changes made to the question papers in this video. So let's first start with the additions made to 0620 chemistry syllabus of IGCSE. So the first change, first addition which is made is to the topic atomic structure and the periodic table where there were some statements saying that the number of the outer shell electrons is equal to the group number in groups 1 to 7 and the numbers of the occupied electron shells is equal to the period number. Now these are the topics, subtopics you can say which were already being included or taught indirectly to the students and they were there in the syllabus but it wasn't specified in the syllabus. Now these are typically specified that this has to be taught to the students. So we can say that there are many such changes made to the syllabus but they were already there but not very typically specified. Now it is specified but then other than that there are few additions which were not really there in the syllabus and we will see that what are these topics. The first another change which is made is in the topic reversible reactions and equilibrium and that is state the sources of hydrogen and nitrogen in the Haber's process. Now this wasn't there typically in the earlier syllabus where hydrogen is produced from methane. Nitrogen is obviously produced from air from the liquid dis fractional distillation of liquid air but now here it is specified that the hydrogen source is methane and its reactions are given in the new course book. So this is a new addition other than that state the sources of sulfur dioxide that is burning sulfur or roasting sulfide ores and oxygen in the contact process under the same topic of reversible reactions and equilibrium. So these are the two subtopics which are added and it is included in the new course book of the students also. Now another main addition is in the topic redox. Now in this redox topic it was a very small uh, topic which was covered earlier but now we have to add few more subtopics here that is identify redox reactions by changes in the oxidation number using oxidation number of the elements in their uncombined state say, which is zero. The oxidation number of a monoatomic ion is same as the charge on the ion. The sum of the oxidation numbers in a compound is zero and sum of the oxidation numbers in an ion is equal to the charge on the ion. Now this subtopic wasn't there in the earlier syllabus. So this has to be included and probably it was not the specified topic which was even included taught to the students. So here now this is the main change in the redox topic. Next change is in the characteristic properties of acids and bases and here the topic was already there that is describe acids and alkalis in the terms of their effect on litmus and methyl orange but now the indicator thymophthalene is included so we need to specify the change in the color of the thymophthalene with the acid and alkali so this is only one indicator which is added because litmus and methyl orange was already there in our earlier syllabus Next is describe the neutralization reaction between an acid and alkali to produce water in an ionic form. Maybe by default this was included or taught to the students but now this is specified that the ionic equation of neutralization is given here and it should be included in the syllabus. Next addition is in the topic water. Now here is a list of things which should be included in the water which wasn't there earlier is that state the water from the natural sources may contain substances including all this and other than that 
it should be mentioned and explained that out of all these dissolved substances in water some are beneficial and some are harmful earlier water had the taste of water and the purification process that is filtration process was there it is still there but this is the subtopic which is included now that is this are the natural substances which are present in the water and out of this some of these are beneficial and some of them are harmful so these are the only few changes few additions which are made to the syllabus all other topics are as such but now there are many such topics which are removed for the syllabus so let's have a look at the topics removed from the syllabus and the first sub topic which is removed is describe and explain brownian motion and state it evidence so you can say that the brownian motion is removed from the syllabus other than that from electrolysis describe the electrode products and observation made during the electrolysis of concentrated hydrochloric acid now this is removed earlier we had this in the syllabus but now we have only dilute solutions and other solutions like copper sulfate sodium chloride concentrated sodium chloride that is brine such aqueous and molten compounds are there but concentrated hydrochloric acid is removed from the electrolysis and another sub topic describe the production of electrical energy from simple cells that is two electrodes in an electrolyte this sub topic is also removed that is working of the simple cells is totally removed we can see that so from electrolysis these are the two sub topics removed from reversible reactions and equilibrium the topic removed is describe and explain the role of light in photochemical reactions and the effect of light on the rate of this reaction so you can say that the photochemical reaction topic that is photography is removed from the reversible equilibrium reactions or you can say from the rate of reactions next sub topic removed is from the topic reactivity series and that is describe and explain the actions of heat on hydroxides carbonates nitrates of the listed metal so you can say that the decomposition decomposition of metal compounds that sub topic is removed from the reactivity series so this was there earlier but now it's totally removed next is from the extraction of metal describe and outline the extraction of zinc from zinc blend now that is fully removed but yes extraction of iron and extraction of aluminium is still there next is describe the conversion of iron into steel using basic oxides and oxygen so you can see that the steel making process which was there after extraction of iron is removed now and describe the idea of changing the properties of iron by the controlled use of additives to form steel alloy now earlier there were different types of steel alloys were described including their properties and the content now that part is totally removed so steel making and the properties of steel alloys that is removed from the syllabus the next sub topic removed is from the sulfur the full sub topic of sulfur is removed that is name the sources of sulfur uses of sulfur uses of sulfur dioxide and describe the manufacture of sulfuric acid by contact process all this is fully removed but yes remember that contact process reaction main reaction of contact process that is the conversion of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide that is an equilibrium reaction and it is still there in the topic reversible reactions and equilibrium and there we have to learn the sources of sulfur dioxide which i have already mentioned in the earlier part of this video that is sources of sulfur dioxide is there in the equilibrium part but other than that sources of sulfur uses of sulfur full description of the sulfuric acid making by the contact process that is fully removed and along with that the uses of dilute and concentrated sulfuric acid is also removed 
नेक्स्ट टॉपिक रिमूव इज फ्रॉम दी नेचुरल पॉलीमर्स दैट वॉट इज दी हाइड्रोलिसिस डिस्क्राइब दी हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ प्रोटीन्स टू एमिनो एसिड ना वन शुड रिमेंबर दैट वी हैव टू इंक्लूड इंक्लूड दैट इज एडिशन of the proteins how proteins are made from amino acids with the condensation process condensation polymerization that is still there but the reverse reaction that is hydrolysis of proteins to amino acid that is removed so you can't say that the proteins is fully removed only the partial portion of proteins is removed hydrolysis of proteins removed but yes describe complex carbohydrates in terms of large sugar molecules and units then the hydrolysis of this complex carbohydrates is also removed describe fermentation of simple sugars to produce ethanol so from this three sub topics we can say that the process of carbohydrate making and its hydrolysis is fully removed but proteins is a partially removed so natural polymers is still there but it as it is present just as a small topic so so this were the main additions and the topics removed from the syllabus now let's have a look what are the changes to the question papers there are no changes to the question papers of paper 1 2 3 and four that is mcq and subjective main papers of core and extended there is no such change and there is no change in the duration or weightage of the paper that carry to the total and the grading system but yes we can say that there is a small change made to paper 6 that is alternative to practical paper atp what we call is there is an addition to this that is notes for the use of qualitative analysis is added now in the sense that the table regarding the cation anion test the test of the gases and the flame test will be given along with the paper on the last pages which was not given earlier so you can say that there is an advantage in paper 6 that now students don't have to remember the cation anion test gas and flame test it will be given with the question papers so this is a relief to the students so these are the main changes that is additions and removal of topics from the paper and only a minute change to the question paper in paper 6